Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about today's video because I've never done anything like this before. I'm actually collaborating with Samantha March who is one of my friends here on YouTube. We actually got to meet sometime last year and I just adore her. I think she is the sweetest person ever. So we're both doing this video. She actually came up with this kind of an eyeshadow palette tag video where we have different categories and I'm gonna share with you each palette that fits into a certain category. So for example, I'm gonna be sharing with you my my oldest palette and my newest palette, my favorite everyday palette, also a palette that lived up to the hype and one that did not. So there's things like that, there's a lot more. Samantha actually made the exact same video. I'm so curious to see what her eyeshadow palette picks were. So I will have her video linked down below as well as her channel. Be sure to subscribe to her. She seriously is so sweet and amazing. Before we get into the video, there's a couple of things that I wanna talk about. Samantha and I decided that it would be fun to do a little bit of a giveaway with you guys. So we are each giving away $350 gift cards, so six total, to Ulta, and hopefully it will help you guys expand your eyeshadow palette collection. So if you guys want to enter to win, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, head over to Samantha March's channel and subscribe to hers, and then comment on both of our videos. Everything will be listed and linked down below if you need to refer back to that, and also we will each select three people from our video comments, and we will respond to your comment to contact you to email you your e-gift card. So again, all the giveaway details details will be in the description box. The other thing I wanted to do before we get into the eyeshadow palettes is share with you guys Samantha's gorgeous collection with Ofra. This is a new collection, a collaboration that she created. It is so beautiful. I'm wearing all the products on my face. So there's a bronzer, a highlighter, a blush. There's even a liquid lipstick, which is what I have on today. So this is the highlighter. It's so pretty. Again, I have this on my skin today. It is so beautiful and so blinding. This is the Start Inspired highlighter. This is the Chiclet Blush Duo, which I also am wearing today. Such a beautiful blush duo. It has a matte side and then a shimmer side. So I've got that on as well. And then I have the bronzer on. This is called the River Bronzer Duo. And again, it has a shimmery side and a matte side. Today, I just kind of mixed the two and put it all over the skin. So I wanted to share this with you guys because I think it's incredible that she collaborated with Ofra. So I will have this all linked down below as well. Before I forget to, there's this beautiful liquid lipstick, which is again, what I'm wearing. It's a pretty mauve shade. And then we have a Millie lip gloss, which is this beautiful iridescent gloss. Okay, I'm so excited to share with you all of these eyeshadow palettes that I've pulled from my collection. Listen, it took me a minute to actually decide what palettes would fit in each category. I feel like I'm a little indecisive that way sometimes. So this was a little bit difficult for me to do, but I feel like I narrowed it down to some pretty solid choices for each category. So the very first one is going to be the newest eyeshadow palette. Technically, I bought one off of Sephora, but it was on sale, so I think it's being discontinued. So I decided to um, go with the next most recent purchase since it is an actual brand new palette to the market as well. And this is it right here. I recently purchased this, obviously, like I said. This is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Instant Eye Palette in Pillow Talk. I'm obsessed with all things Pillow Talk, and so when I saw that this launched, I had to purchase it, even though, let's be honest, I think I have pretty much every single shade that exists in this palette in my current collection, but you know how it goes with eyeshadow palettes. Sometimes you feel like they're all a little bit different even though they're all kind of similar. So this is my newest palette. I'm also very curious to go and watch Samantha's video of this because I'm wondering if we have any similar palettes in similar categories. I don't know, I think it'll be kind of fun. Okay, the next eyeshadow palette is my oldest eyeshadow palette. I had to go find my old makeup bag. You guys might think this is kind of gross, but I kind of hang on to my very first makeup products for sentimental reasons. I do not use them anymore, but like it's my dream one day to like super glue them into a shadow box just as a memory of like where my love for makeup started. So this is literally my very, very first eyeshadow palette, I think, and I still have it. So many memories are attached to this thing right here. This is the L'Oreal Wear Infinite Autumn Leaves palette. They don't make this anymore, I'm pretty sure. I haven't seen it in years. This is so old. I literally had this in high school, you guys. And you can see which colors were my favorites. I definitely like the nude shade and then this copper color, but this is my very first eyeshadow palette. I would purchase like single eyeshadows as well um, that I would wear along with this, but since this is all about palettes, this is definitely my oldest palette. Gosh, let me think about when I bought this. Guys, I bet it was freshman or sophomore year. So 2008 or 2007. <laughs> 
This is old. <laughs> okay, next we're gonna talk about my most expensive eyeshadow palettes. I'm a little bit confused. I think I have what's like technically correct. So I actually have two eyeshadow palettes in this category. I'm sorry, Samantha, if I am breaking the rules with this tag, but there's a reason for it, okay? So technically, if you're just looking at price, my Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes are my most expensive. They retail at 129 US dollars, so a very, very high ticket item. This is the gold palette. I love this palette. Um, but as you can see, there's quite a few shades in here, which is why I'm kind of torn between which one is actually my most expensive, because on the flip side, I've got a Pat McGrath palette. This retails for $125, so only a few dollars cheaper than the Natasha Denona palette and a significantly less amount of shadows. So I think technically, per shadow, this is probably more expensive. You know what I mean? That's why I couldn't pick between the two. I had to show both. This one is technically more expensive dollar-wise. This is technically more expensive, you know, if you break it down by shades by dollar. You know what I mean? Do I regret purchasing either of these? No. Are they outrageously expensive? Absolutely. I think it's kind of ridiculous that there's even eyeshadow palettes out there that cost this much, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do for the love of makeup. Okay, next up I have my most affordable eyeshadow palettes. I'm pretty sure these are my most affordable. These are the new e.l.f. eyeshadow palettes. They're the bite size eyeshadows, and since there's four shadows in here, I classified them as palettes, obviously. These retail for $3, so the price difference is quite insane compared to those other palettes I just showed you, but I'm pretty sure out of all the eyeshadow palettes that I own, these are definitely my most affordable full-on palettes, which is great because this formula is amazing too. I really love them. Okay, this next category had me like thinking so hard. I had so many different palettes in this category that I was trying to choose between. I actually have an entire video about the best everyday eyeshadow palettes, so if you can't guess by now, this category is my favorite everyday palette. It took me a long time to figure this out, but I narrowed it down to this one and I have reasons for it. So this is the KKW Beauty um, Classic Eyeshadow Palette. Okay, hear me out on this one. Obviously, a gorgeous color scheme. I love how there's mostly warm tones, which is what I typically gravitate toward, but if you guys know me, you'll know that I also love pink and purple, which is in this palette as well. So, that's why if I had to choose one favorite everyday palette, I would choose this, honestly, because I feel like I can go with a really beautiful warm copper tone. You can actually go pretty smoky with this palette too, so it's great to travel with. I'm obsessed with it. This shade is pretty much like a bronzer shade, which you guys probably know that I usually like to just take whatever bronzer and blush I'm wearing and slap that on the eyes for every day, but this is very similar to a bronzer shade, so I do love to apply that all over the lid as well. There's a little bit of a mustard in here, so I just, I don't know, I feel like it's very versatile. It's very streamlined. I love this one. But again, if you want to see my other favorite everyday eyeshadow palettes, I'll have that video linked down below. I don't know if that's cheating or not, but... Okay, next up is Most Colorful. I'm pretty sure this is my most colorful palette, and if any of you guys own this, it's probably your most colorful as well. This is the Morphe James Charles palette. It's basically a rainbow. This has the most variety of color out of all the palettes that I own. I have quite a few that are colorful, but this one definitely takes the cake as far as like having the most variety of colors. It's so huge. <laughs> But yes, as you can see, there's literally every color under the sun in this palette, so that was definitely a no-brainer when it came to that category. So the next category is the smallest palette. I had a couple of options, but I chose this one because technically the pan size is smaller than my other small palettes, so even though there's more shades in this one, this is definitely the tiniest little palette, and I actually ordered this off of Sephora not too long ago. Mm, it's been a few months now, I guess. And I'm not gonna lie, I was low-key disappointed when I received it in the mail because it was so small. This is it right here. It's the Visart or Viseart. I'm not really sure how you say that. Here's the brand, this one. It's the Paris Edit Palette. And at first you're probably like, okay, yeah, that's probably a good size if there was like nine shadows in here. Mm -mm. It's tiny. <laughs> you guys, look how small. Like, it's tiny. The shadows are tiny. My brush barely fits into these pans. So even though the color scheme is really beautiful, um, this was like $40. I've always wanted to try their eyeshadows because I've heard they're so good, but I was definitely disappointed <laughs> in how tiny these are. Um, let's see. Do I have another palette for reference? Okay, here's the e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. It's like the same width, but look at the pan size compared to this one. Oh my gosh, it's so little, but I do like them. 
I've only worn it like once because honestly, I got a little frustrated at how tiny they are, but I should probably give it another chance since I bought it. But yeah, that's my tiniest little palette. The next category is biggest, which actually this one takes the cake for that too. The Morphe James Charles palette. And I also have another Morphe palette that's the same size. It's by far the largest palette that I own. I mean, it's huge. So that was definitely a no brainer as well. Okay, this next category is so fun. The category is best memory. So it's just something that has a really good memory attached to it. So I chose my Stila eyeshadow palettes. Now hear me out, I know there are two again. But listen, this Stila um, in the No palette was, I think, my first high-end eyeshadow palette purchase. I used the crap out of this. I loved it so much. I don't use it anymore, obviously, because it's very expired and they don't make this anymore. Um, but it also came with an eyeliner, which was, like, really fun at the time. So that's a really fun memory. But I also used this Stila palette with the Stila in the Light palette on my wedding day. So I have, you know, a really soft spot in my heart for both of these palettes. I mainly used this one on my wedding day too. I was definitely a fan of the top row more than the bottom row, but yeah, I definitely love these palettes. I would love to know if any of you guys used these palettes back in the day because they were pretty like hyped up on YouTube. I remember everybody talking about this at some point on YouTube. That was like years ago, but definitely really great memories associated with these Stila palettes. Okay, the next category is worth the hype. This took me a minute to figure out which one I was going to talk about because I feel like there was a few that came to mind, but then I remembered this palette and I was like, you know what, this really is worth all of the hype. It's the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 1 palette. This is actually the eyeshadow palette that I chose to wear today because it has been a while since I've worn it and I love it so much and I was just reminded of how beautiful they are. The quality is incredible. The glitter row in here is unlike any other. I'm obsessed with it. So yeah, I know this is like a social media palette since it was made by Tati Westbrook here on YouTube, but it really does live up to the hype. I know there's been a lot of people who have reviewed this and a lot of people love this and I just wanted to kind of let you know that if you haven't tried this yet, it is definitely worth it. It's worth every single penny. Honestly, truly some of the best quality eyeshadows of all time in this palette right here. Plus the glitters. There's just nothing like them. So definitely, definitely worth the hype. This next category I've been like so nervous to share because it's where I share with you guys a palette that I feel like is not worth the hype. Now hear me out on this. So many people recommended this palette to me for like seriously years. And I know of so many YouTubers who love it. And so I bought it, I tried it. I'm not saying that this is a bad palette, but I'm just a little bit bored. <laughs> I feel like people are gonna come after me for this because I know it's so many people's favorite. Don't hate me, but the Tarte Tartlet and Bloom palette, you guys, I don't know what the hype is about. I think it's fine. Like, it's an okay palette to me, but it just, it's not inspiring. I don't know. I love the Tarte eyeshadow formula. So again, it's not about the formula of this. Just the tones are not inspiring enough to me. A lot of them look the same on me when I blend them out. These three shades are like very similar. But you know, for a neutral lover, I can see why people like it. I just really think it's because so many people were like, that's my favorite palette. You need this palette in your life. You won't regret buying this palette that I was like, sure. Like I will definitely spend my money on that. And then I bought it and I was like, wait, why did I buy that? I feel like I have all these colors and other palettes. So that's one that I think is not worth the hype. But again, to each their own. I'm so sorry if this is your favorite palette. Okay, this next palette is gonna trigger me a little bit because <laughs> you guys, I use this palette all the time, all the time. I have it front and center on my desk. And as soon as I went to gather up all my palettes for this video, it disappeared completely. Like I spent an hour and a half looking through my beauty room and mind you, I cleaned my beauty room like two days ago. So it's not like it's this disaster that I couldn't find anything. I have no idea where I put this. My husband even tried to help me find it and it's just um, a lost cause. So instead, <laughs> the next best thing was to print out a photo. So bear with me. Um, this category is a favorite palette from a favorite brand. I immediately thought of Persona Cosmetics because I really love that brand. They make so many wonderful products and this is an eyeshadow that I feel like everybody needs to know about. Here it is, my little paper. <laughs> this is so embarrassing, but pretend this is a real eyeshadow palette. Okay, it's the Persona Cosmetics Identity One Eyeshadow Palette. I love the cool tones in here, but then there's also warm tones. There's amazing mattes, amazing shimmers. No matter what you do with this palette, the colors all work together and it always turns out so beautifully. So I wanted to make sure to give that a little shout out. Should I swatch it for you guys? 
Okay, the last category is my most used eyeshadow palette. Now, I feel like technically my most used would be the Stila in the No palette because I hit pan on so many shades, but I was trying to think of one that like in the last few years has been very consistent in my routine and when I bought it, I literally wore this every single day. So even though there's not as many shades that I've hit pan on, it is well loved. And if you go back on my channel, you can probably find like 50 tutorials using this. It's the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. You can see the felt on here is like changing colors and it's a little bit stained. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this palette. But here it is right here. I love this palette. I definitely got a lot of use out of so many of these. So many of these are like so close to hitting pan, but again, there's only like one or two that actually hit pan in this. So don't be deceived. I used this like crazy. I actually should use this again. It's such a pretty palette, I love it. All right, you guys, so that completes this eyeshadow tag video that I did with Samantha March. Again, if you guys wanna see her version of this video, click on her video link down below. Be sure to subscribe to her channel. And again, if you guys wanna to enter to win one of the $50 Ulta e-gift cards that we're giving away, the rules will be listed down below. Thank you so much to Samantha March for coming up with this incredible video idea. That was honestly so fun for me to reach back into my eyeshadow collection and share with you guys some of these palettes that I really love or that have specific memories attached to them. That was seriously so fun. If you guys end up doing this tag video, be sure to let me know, like DM me on Instagram or tag me. On Instagram, I would love to see what you guys would say about these categories of eyeshadow palettes. And if you're not planning on filming a video like this, I would love to know in the comments which palettes of yours fit each category. So yeah, that's it for me today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out Samantha's channel and also her collaboration with Ofra. Yeah, if you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button and if you're already a subscriber but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I love you all so much. I hope you stay safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.